Hi, I'm Jessica from the London Jewellery School and today I'm going to show you how to make some jewellery. We're going to make a button jewellery bracelet using a range of different purple buttons. Um, making a necklace is exactly the same, you just make it longer. For this project you will need some chain nose pliers, some desire memory wire which you can get from any knitting or craft shop, a selection of buttons in different colours, shapes and sizes, a silver clasp, two silver split rings and two silver crimps with loops on the end and finally you'll need some scissors. So to start with you're going to cut your desire memory wire and you want to make it much longer than you want the actual piece to be because you can always cut it down later um, but if it's too short then you're going to have to start again. And as you can see I've laid out my buttons how I'd like them to look on my bracelet. Um, in most cases I've layered a smaller button on top of a bigger one. So you're going to start at one end and pick up your bottom button, thread it through and put the next button on top. You're then going to thread the wire back through the top one and diagonally opposite on the bottom one. If you've got four, always go diagonally opposite. And we're going to pull it through. and repeat the process with the next one. So once you've put all of your beads on and you're happy with your design, you're going to cut the ends down. And I'm going to take my crimps with the loops on the end and place it on the end. Using my chain nose pliers, I'm going to close the crimp each side. So it has two little flaps which I'm just going to fold over and I'm encasing the thread in there. So that's one side and the other side goes on top. Then I want to cut off the excess wire as close as I can to the end. And I'll repeat the same with the other side. So getting your crimp with a loop end and using your chain nose pliers just folding it over to secure the wire in the middle. Cut off the excess wire with your scissors. So now I just need to attach the clasps and I have two split rings. Split rings are similar to jump rings but they carry on so they're almost like key rings, they have two layers. And using my chain nose pliers I'm just going to pull one side down a little bit and thread it on to the loop at the end of my crimp. And pull it all the way through. The advantage of using split rings over jump rings is that they are really, really secure. That's one side, and we'll do the same to the other. Then to attach your clasp together, simply open the end and put it onto your other split ring. And there you have your button bracelet. <laughs> 